Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about trade management in Python and MT5. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can use Python to send market, limit and stop orders with Python to MT5 and also how we can manage these positions or close these positions. So let's get started. We're going to start with the import of Metatrader 5 as MT5. So let's run this. And to connect to our platform right side, we need to use MT5.initialize. And if you want to log in to a specific training account, you need to provide the login, password, and server that uh, you will have to create with the broker who provides MT5. And if you have these credentials, you will then pass them into this function MT5.login to log in to that server. So the output of this is true. So we are logged in to the Metatrader 5 account on the right side. And what we're going to start with is we're going to send a market order to our MT5 platform. So in this example, I'm going to use the symbol EURUSD. Uh, we're going to open 0.1 lots on the symbol. And uh, you need to provide uh, the action what you, with, that you want to perform. And the action to create a market order is called MT5.TradeActionDeal. So for order type, let's open a buy order, which in MT5 uh, would be MT5.OrderTypeBuy. And also we can provide the stop loss and take profit. So to open market order, you also need to provide uh, MT5 with the mark current market price. So if you're buying uh, your USD, uh, we need to know the ask price on your USD, which is this part here. And if you want to sell your USD, we need to know the current bid price on your USD. So this function, get market, pr uh, get market price, will return the current market price based on a symbol and order type that you are performing. So uh, we have to prepare a request dictionary. So for a market order, our action here is trade action deal on the symbol EURUSD with a volume 0 0.1. Uh, the order type is MT5 order type buy. We need to get a current market price, which means we have to call the function here. And then I'm going to provide the stop loss, take profit, and provide some additional data such as deviation, which is the maximum allowed slippage on our market order the magic number, which is a unique uh, number uh, identifying the, uh, uh, the bot or the EA. And then we can also provide comments such as Python market order. Then uh, for type time, we specify MT5.OrderTimeGTC, which stands for good till canceled. And type filling is MT5.OrderFillingIOC, which stands for immediate or canceled. Please be reminded that uh, some brokers, they only accept the order filling type, order filling FOK, which means fill or kill. So that depends uh, up to the broker you're trading with. So we have provided all the data in the market order. So all we have to do is we have to call MT5 or send and pass in this request dictionary. So let's run this and hopefully a trade will open on our MT5 platform. Right, so as you can see, uh, a position has been opened on our MT5 with the stop loss and take profits that we have provided. And here we have the result uh, of our order. So we see that this market order function works. So now that our position is open, uh, let's try to modify the stop loss and take profit. So currently the stop loss is set to 1.0 and the take profit is set to 1.2. So let's say we want to generate new values. First, let me display the stop loss and take profit here, so here they are, and I would like to change them to 1.05 and 1.15. So how do we do that? So first, we need to get the current open positions from MT5, which we can get by calling MT5.PositionsGet. And then uh, we will get the first position that is visible in this list that will be returned. So position one is position with the index zero. And then to modify the take profit or stop loss, we have to use the action MT5.TradeAction SLTP. Then we have to provide the position number of our open position. And then we just have to provide the new values for stop loss and take profit. So once the request dictionary is done, we have to use again MT5.OrSend and pass in this request dictionary. So I'm going to run this now and play, pay close attention to the take profit and stop loss on the platform on the right side. So I'm going to run this. And now you see that now the TP and SL have been modified, they are tighter, and we see that this works. So let's now go to uh, another section. 
and in this section I will show you how you can close a position. So with the same principle, uh, we first need to get the current open positions using MT5 positions get, and then we are going to close the first position in the list. So in order to close a position, uh, we need to provide a new order type. So uh, if the position is by, in order to cl close it, you need to sell. So that's why we are reversing the order type. And so if the position open position is sell, then we need to buy. So this is the function that will be needed uh, later in the request dictionary. And also same for closing. If you want to close a position, you need to provide the current uh, market price. But if you want again to buy, you need to specify uh, the bid price because for buy orders, we are selling and to sell it, you need to provide the bid. So here uh, we get a close price and prepare the request dictionary. So again, the action this to close the position is trade action deal. We are providing the ticket of our open position in the position uh, key. Then we need to provide the symbol, the volume. Now we're reversing the type. So again, if our current open position is buy, uh, we need to provide sell. And to get a closing price, we need to get the current bid price on your USD. So again, you can provide deviation, magic, the comment, and uh, type time and type filling. So these uh, remain the same. And by running this, we should be able to close this position. So let me run this now. So as you can see, uh, the script works and the position is now closed. So the next section, I'm going to show you how we can use a partial close. So let's say you don't want to close a position completely, but only a part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a position with 0.5 lots now. And let's look at this section, how we can use a partial close. So what you're, I'm going to provide you with is a new variable called percentage close is equal to 0.5, which means that with this value, we are closing half of the existing position. So using MT5 positions get, we are again getting open positions in the platform and we are going to close half of the volume on the first position. So here the functions uh, are the same as in the previous closing uh, section, but the only thing that changes here is that in the volume, we have to provide the amount we want to close. So what we're going to close is we're going to close the current volume multiplied by the percentage we want to close. And then we have to round uh, this value uh, to two decimal digits because in MT5, most assets only uh, uh, provide a volume precision up to two decimal places. So right now you see 0 0.5 here. So if I run this again, it should now decrease to 0 0.25. So let me run this. So as you can see, uh, this works. So now the volume has been decreased to 0 0.25 and the history, you will find half of the position closed. If I run this again, uh, another half of the position should be closed and it has been rounded. So this 25 has now been decreased to 13 and we can go on and on until the position can be closed completely. So the next section, let's talk about limit orders. So a limit order is a pending order where you don't want the order to be executed immediately, but you want to wait for price to uh, be in your favor. So for example, you might think your USD is too expensive right now, you want to buy it at a better price, so you can submit a limit order at the lower price here. So to do it automatically, uh, let's look at the limit order section on the left. So the only thing that changes is we have to change the action to MT5.TradeActionPending. And then for order type, we want to specify MT5 dot order type by limit. If you want to uh, create a sell limit order, then you would have to instead uh, say you want to have a sell limit price. So um, now uh, because uh, the pending order uh, requires a specified price at which you want to buy, we need to also provide a limit price. So in this example, uh, I want to set a limit price at 1.0 on EURUSD. So we go down to request dictionary. So you provide the uh, trade action pending in the action key here. And then uh, in the type section, you would uh, then type order type by limit. 
Then you would also have to provide the limit price in the price section. And this is the only difference uh, that you have to consider. So by running this, uh, you can now open a limit order with the specific parameters. So as you can see on the right side here, we have now a limit order placed on our platform. So let's now uh, have an example uh, with stop orders. So a stop order uh, works is a pending order like the limit order, but instead of waiting for price uh, to be in your favor, you're actually trying to catch momentum and it is very common to use in breakout trades. So for example, for stop orders, uh, the only thing that you have to change compared to limit order is in the order type. So instead of uh, using order type by limit, we would use order type by stop. And for buy orders, the stop price would have to be above the current market price. So by running this, we can then place a stop order. And as you can see, we have placed a stop order at this level here. So if price moves up, it would order trigger the buy stop order here and open a buy position. So now we have a uh, limit and stop orders covered. And let's say uh, we want to remove the pending orders, right? So this would be the last section uh, in our notebook. So if we want to remove the orders, uh, we would have to use empty5.orders.get to retrieve all current uh, open orders. So in this case, it would be buy limit and buy stop. And if we want to close the first uh, order in queue, we would have to use pending orders with the index zero. And all you have to provide in closing position is just the action, which is empty 5trade action remove, and provide the ticket uh, number, which is this column here, to this request dictionary. And by using empty 5orders sent, we can run this cell, and the first uh, pending order would be removed. So in order to remove the second one, we can run this again. And now all uh, pending orders have been removed. So this is it for a video. Uh, I'm going to upload this notebook on my website. So if you want the download link, please make sure to visit my descriptions. And I'll be back with another video. Bye bye.